my, oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my gosh. I'm like so shocked right now. Like, wow. Wow. They come in white, they come in red, they come in yellow, black or brown, and I like them all natural. Hey guys, so the video you're gonna watch was previously recorded, so I just wanted to pop in and tell you that because my hair is in twists right now. I recorded it back when it was like really hot and popping, but um, never edited it. That's it. So I thought I'd show you guys how it went. Waveformers are the way. I really enjoy doing them. It was very tedious the first time. I did end up poking my eye with a rat tail comb, but all is well. Cornea was scratched a little bit. Got the medicine. It's all good. But I did finish the style. So I hope you guys enjoy. Bye. The last one. I am tired and annoyed. Tell you something. I want to show you guys the object that almost killed me. I was like trying to part my hair, and I was I had a whole bunch of like stuff on my hands and oil, so I was grabbing it, and the thing jumped, literally jumped out of my hand and poked my eye. This eye. This eye. It still hurts, but I can't go to the doctor now. I'm gonna go tomorrow. But this was a lot. This was a lot. I will show you guys the results tomorrow. I'm so tired. The next morning and slept. I slept with this in my hair and it was very uncomfortable. I would not I would not advise to sleep with this in your hair. If it doesn't come out cute, I don't think I'll be doing it again. Just because it was very difficult. Don't let these YouTubers lie to you. Especially when it was like the back. You definitely have to do like smaller sections. Because you can't see in the back. And then you start going. And then it starts getting stuck. I have no footage because I was so like over the entire process that I didn't even record it. I'm just going to show you guys the takedown. Okay. So far so good. So far, so good. Look at this. This is like fresh out. My hair smells so freaking amazing. Like I can't even get, it smells delicious. Oh my gosh, I'm like so shocked right now. Like, wow. But some of them did come out frizzy. This one's a little crimpy. So I don't know if it just didn't dry, but it's in the same section. Like you see what I mean? Like this one's. Or maybe I didn't use enough mousse on this section. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Some of them are, like, really good. Like this one. Like, look at this. Look at it bounce. Look at it bounce. Look at it bounce. Boom, 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 boom. Um, the front came out really good. But overall, I like it. Would I do it again? Yes. Like, do you see the shine? Do you see the shine? This is how it looks in the back. This is a good, like... Honestly, if you weren't even trying to do a style for this, I feel like it's a good way to stretch it. Um, I think I just have to do it enough times to really get the hang of it. In the back, I can't stress enough, you, you need to use small sections in the back. These hooks. Um, for one, I think if you already have like regular curl formers, I would say use their hook instead of this cheap crap. Because this is made very 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 cheap the makers aren't considering our hair and you know if it can get snagged um the only time it really did get snagged is if i didn't have all of the hair in this portion of it and that was mainly in the back because i couldn't see and i was getting very tired i started putting more sections and it was getting caught here because all of it wasn't getting in the it was first of all it was too much in the hair and then it couldn't go through one of these so it would just snag here. I'm gonna like play with it a little bit and then come back to you. So 
So yeah, I am back. Um, I kind of fluffed it out a bit. This is the final product. I usually don't even do middle parts, but I'm feeling this look right now. This actually looks like my wig that I um purchased, like I want to say last summer. I did one curls on them, but this kind of resembles like my wig, but it's not, girl. It's my hair. It's very light and fluffy. I would definitely recommend you doing this on washed hair, but also like if you did it on like second or third day hair, it wouldn't be bad too. You would just have to like re-wet it. Some portions of it are frizzy. Like, can you focus? Right here. Like right here is pretty frizzy. It's just little portions. Like most of it. There's more defined portions of it that um, outweigh the frizzy ones. These sections here weren't the ones that were giving me trouble. It was mainly the ones in the back and those came out pretty frizzy. Ooh, I like it. I like it. All right. So I'm going to the doctor because I poked my eye while trying to part my hair. Don't ask me how I did this. Welcome to the life of Weberlin. Um, so yeah, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this quick little video. And I will talk to you guys later. Show me what that natural hair do. She got that poetic justice that by do that India I read Jill Scott too.